Leaving Zeebrugge should have been the final leg of their journey towards a new life. But by the time they went through this terminal, the 39 victims were dying or already dead. Lorry drivers who use this Belgian port regularly are appalled but not surprised. This driver told me checks are completely inadequate. Well, when you're going through the scanners, uh, they put a probe in to try and detect humans in there or whatever. And they seem to just get through. They don't. It's not picking them up. Whether they're, they're X-ray machines sufficient enough, I don't know. I don't believe so. In this church hall close to the port, migrants are given dinner every evening. They all want to get to Britain, but are afraid and don't want us to show their faces. Some have paid people smugglers to get this far. Smugglers are uh, uh, only thinking to money, you know, to the refugee dead or no dead or the, the very dangerous. I respect the people that you know, really, because it's not good. Because these people, he, he come from other country, he wants his life, he, he dreams. Investigators don't yet know if the 39 victims boarded the container here in Belgium or elsewhere. Zeebrugge has been highlighted in the past by the UK border force as a key port being used by migrants. Just last year, both Belgian officials and the National Crime Agency raised concerns that increasing numbers of people are using this route to try to enter Britain illegally. People here find migrants sleeping on boats in the shipyards and anywhere they can stay warm and dry. 30 people say, I say, now you must leave here. This father and son showed me round the disused warehouses behind their restaurant. Sometimes they sleep here. They make food there, you see it. People smugglers, and it's, it's like a very safe haven for them in Zeebrugge. So they come all the way from anywhere in the world, and then they come passing here. The lure of life in Britain has attracted many thousands to risk the journey. And yet, authorities still seem unable to prevent loss of life on an appalling scale. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Zeebrugge in Belgium.